Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim World video. Again we're going to be back on the Great Western Express today. We're going to take a little look around at different things. We're going to try out the Class 66 load and unloading scenario I think for this video. Um, yeah, Great Western Express is what I want. Uh, I've turned off the uh, UI noises and all of that that you might have seen in my last video. So let's jump in to aggregate industries. That's what we want. I've had a little play with the 66. It's actually slowly becoming, I think, well, is it becoming my favourite? I do like the 166, um, but I do like the 66. That was a good run from the West Country, but it's no time to get down to business and unload these wagons. Set up for shunting and reverse the train through the discharge facility to get these wagons unloaded. Okay, so we're going to need to put the slow speed control on. And then... Let's press select on that. Actually, do you know what I found the other day doing this? There we go. So there is slow speed control. And then we want to put the reverser into reverse. And then when we set the speed, which is here, we want it at three mile an hour, right? Oh, it's a bit jumpy. Oh, 420. Uh, 320. Ah! Right, at least that's not irritating. Let me just change the DPI on my mouse, if that helps. Let's try that. No. Try going back a bit and then forward again. Ah, there we go. And then when that's done, we're set. So let's go back to the view we were in. Pull the brakes off, apply a bit of power. Start backing up. Brilliant. Okay, with the 66 itself, we've got a little way, I think, until we get to the. Um, yeah, we have got a little way to get to. We get to the unloader. Uh, there's some quite nice features back here. So the fuse cupboard up here has very similar setups to the Trains and World CSX Heavy Hall locos, the SD40, and things like that. We've got a little bit more of the functionality. Didn't even know that one opened. Let's see if we can get to that fuse box with a view like this. There we go, what's in here? Oh, cab heaters. Parker brake, fill gen and auxiliary gen. Okay, quite like that. One thing I noticed in, in this, um, again, that I would have probably have liked to have seen was the ability to actually use these mirrors. Uh, I do get a quite funny bug with a 66 already that I've noticed that my horn sometimes doesn't... There we go. So that's horn. And then... See? If I go outside... I'm still not getting horn high. Or just the low horn. Oh! Nah, see, it's just a bit odd. Right, let's have a look. So, we're going to be taking it. Let's see if I can get under this bridge. Will it let me? Woohoo! That plant makes a good noise.
we're going to be unloading into here. Don't know if we can actually go in and have a look. Oh, we can. Has there been some sort of? Oh no, we're back. To, yeah, back there's that old chestnut again. Um, but no, getting in there was quite nice. So we're discharging over these grates here, and we'll watch that all happen. I think I might be able to just nip up above the wagons without zooming out over the top. Brilliant. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and I hope you guys are actually enjoying Train Sim World as well. I've heard and seen different opinions, but the general consensus seems to be, yes, it's been released a bit earlier than it was probably ready to be, but it's quite good. And I agree with that. Um, the potential for this is massive. Let's not forget that Rail Simulator started back in the day, and yes, it had a few more routes and everything like that, but it took it a long time to get started. And I'm going to say the same for Train Sim World. What I also have, actually, let me just see if I can reach around and get it. I do have it just there. I have the preparation disposal duties for a 66 manual. Which I think we'll go through. So I might just show you the unloading of this and then we'll just start up like a, I say like a free roam. But uh, one of the services for the 66, we'll go in the cab and shut it all down, and then we'll um, go through it. I haven't actually had a look at this manual to see if it's going to be remotely doable, but we should be able to do a full preparation of it. Which, as we can walk around the loco, it should be a lot easier and a lot more detailed than if we were in Train Sim 2017. Right, so here we go. That's pretty smart. The noise is super irritating, mind, and um Oh, I've got the camera stuck. Let's go back in the cab and then back out. So what we should be able to see is the discharging doors open and close. There you go. That's that. That's neat. That's very, very neat. I like that a lot. So these are the wagons that were originally built for uh, national power to be hauled, funnily enough, by the sister of the uh, 66 to 59. We're built for the Drax flows. Now that would be smart to see, wouldn't it? 59 in the National Power Livery with the wagons in National Power Livery as well. Doing loading and unloading at Drax. That would be pretty awesome. wonder if we could actually do anything with the, the levers on the wagons. That we'll have to try as well. Oh, there's that weird buggy bit, but apart from that... It's an HST. Haven't actually played with turning the UI off or anything like that yet. I will start doing that, don't worry. Um, I suppose it's kind of helpful for a bit. Just while I'm getting used to it. I will say something. I have, I do feel that I've got used to it relatively quickly. Uh, driving the locomotives, I tend to, I seem to have got used to all right.
Yeah, the brake is on. How much do you want it on by? This is sort of what I found. So if you haven't, don't think you've finished an objective, it's basically probably haven't put enough of whatever it's asking to do on. We flip that off. Do we have to change the? You should get that train over to Ankton Yard, where it can be prepared before the return trip to the Mendips. Oh, the Mendips, eh? So we'll do a quick, a little bit of a run up the track with this, and then we'll um, head on over to do the different. Uh, Service. Is it service? Service? Scenario? I've seen f I've quite a few people have um, some issues with the actual interface itself, like uh, boarding trains, opening things, things like that. It's part of it, I'll explain it here. See, I've got this, it's like a right click makes you gives you this sort of free roamy head view thing so you can adjust everything do everything if I then put this here and then click my mouse again I've now not got to move the screen around but I can still access the buttons and stuff that are in front of me another HST Oh, how fast am I meant to be going? Uh, not that far. 15. So, another thing I've noticed is I'm in the good setting for my brakes. Brakes, change over switch on these is... Up here? Is it? No. Of cab light on, no instrument lights on, tail lights off, mark times on day, the mist is off, and the brake service, the brake test which is in service. What's the moment to do? Stop. So these markers on the ground, I'm guessing, are like supposed to be where it wants me to stop. So the passenger goods switch is a timing um, button that determines how quickly and how quickly the brakes apply and release. Or I don't know if it does apply, but just release. And most modern day wagons now use passenger timings anyway, and I'd think these wagons being built in the late 80s, early 90s would probably use passenger timings anyway. Is it changeable in the M2000? Don't know. What does the crew button do? Nothing. I should know this. Come on, how you know this? I thought it was just push. I think in Train Sim 2017, it's just maybe it's just not even included, which is probably more to the point. Oh, nice and. Empty now, so it shouldn't be that heavy a train. Ugh. So what I'll do is we'll just run the 66 up to speed. I haven't actually done that yet. Um, well, well, I'll tell you what, we'll run the 5.6 miles stats in the yard. And then we'll um, let's see what it asks us to do. It might ask us to come and play with the wagons. I've just missed uh, AWS. Um, because supposedly, supposedly, I should be able to hear the AWS outside the train, according to my settings. Let me just double check that, because if we are stopped here, I'm not. I'll, I'll, I'll go and have a look at the wagons anyway. Uh, sounds external alert. 100. Is it in like um? On here, 
might need actually switched on. No. No, it's not. So it's settings. No. I've um, capped my FPS at 30 as well, just because the, well, there's no point in me having it any much faster than that for you guys. Maybe that might give me a slightly better frame rate. No, there's no other sound thing, so apart from having the external uh, volume at 100, and we'll apply that. I don't know. Gonna go and have a look at the way. Actually, do you know, I'm gonna do something very naughty. We're gonna go on track side because they were on this. I'm, probably, I'm guessing they'll be on both sides. Have controls on both sides. I say that, like I know. I don't. We do. Right then, can we? I don't know if it's making. Yeah, yeah, they look different. So it looks like the middle ones are open. So they all should be closed now. Well, I was maybe just imagining that. Okay, let's just change one. Let's change this very end one. Oh, you can't go into the fly around camera from on foot. Is there a way to get onto these wagons? No. Okay, well, that I quite like. Handbrakes, yeah. Can you fit it with the auto lockers? No. Don't think you would be able to in real life either, really. That's for auto discharge and stuff, I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't know anything. I'm guessing these are something to do with the doors and lubrication. Reset door locks. No, I'm, I'm happy with that. The possibilities that that creates are, are pretty immense. I mean, the only thing that's going through my head at the minute that has that could think about the sort of operation ability, operability, operability, operational ability, ability operability, um, would be something like on-track plant or anything along those lines. Right, I will get this classic six up speed. I haven't done it yet, and I'd be a fool not to show you, really. sort this out. Oh, what have I done now? Right. I'm not going to faff. I'm not going to faff. Um, there's, there's bits I still need to learn. There are bits I still need to learn. There are bits I still need to go through. Um, and, you know, not knowing how they've... 
if they'd simulated systems accurately throughout other things, I'd be more inclined to believe it was me. Um, but there are definitely parts of this that are not simulated properly, so therefore it could be a fault with it. It could be um, a bug. I don't know. Chances are... Oh, why do I keep doing that? Chances are it is me. We'll just go for a summer clear scenario, and then is there a one that starts in the yard? I'll start somewhere where I can get down on the track. Dickot Yard, Dagnum Dock, yep. 8.41 in the morning, that's fine. One thing I've noticed is that night time around yards is not best in the frame rates. It's something to do with the floodlighting. Station lights don't seem to do it so much, but uh, the floodlights in Reading Yard were a nightmare. I was down, I think, single figures. Sort of looks like it's got like a, a gold flake paint job on the front of that HST in this picture. So, preparation disposal duties. That basically means setting up the loco and how you walk around it. And then the disposal staff. What else have we got to check? Uh, stuff in the engine room. We'll go through the process of changing ends and things like that. I haven't got Didcot Yard, have I? Uh, special Alan today. All right then. Um, what we're going to do is uncouple this, move forward, and do it on the main line just outside Reading Station. Oh, you can't get on the mega frets, that would be cool. Do I need to put a handbrake on these? I suppose I should try, really, shouldn't I? Let's go around my loco and do it. So, yes, I'm about to be running onto a live running line. Don't do this at home. I even like how the indicators move, that's really nice. Is there anything else to these ones? I doubt it. There's probably not much, there's, there isn't much to them to be fair. Right, that should be enough. means they won't come rolling into us if there is any form of gradient or they won't roll away from us and hit something else if there's some form of gradient. Mm -mm, joy, nowhere for me to jump up. There we are. No, I don't. No brakes on anyway. For some reason, I've got a mouse icon following me around.
Noise over the point works nice when you've just got the loco. I want to use the train brake actually, I want to use the loco brake. This is quite nice because I've got a bit of a drop the other side so I can definitely have a look at what's going on. Without crouching, I'm hoping that this, if I make this do that, no, it looks like that is with us. That's going to be really irritating. Oh, well, if I sit back in and change view, no, it's it's going to leave you up there somewhere. Go away. No, what's that? One six six. <laughs> I don't really want to leave this video and start it again, but it looks like we're going to have to. So what I might actually do is no, I will. I'll do the disposal duties on this video. Actually, shall I just dispose of the loco here? We'll work backwards. Right. Okay. So we're just disposing of locos. What we're going to pretend we've done is just got this train station. It's been left here for the evening. Overnight, we're going to dispose of the locomotive. So first thing, it says locomotive, dispose of instructions. To press the emergency brake valve plunger and note that the brake pressure follows flow, uh, falls to zero. It has. With the master key, reverse handle centred in neutral. In the master key switch, remove the master key handle and lock it away in the driver's cupboard in the vestibule. So we will take that. How do you do that? Is that shift W, control W? There we go. We've got that out. That's away. The, pi, the parking brake. Excellent. Note that the parking brake not released message on the EM2000 display, then raise the emergency brake plunger. Parking brake applied. Nice, nice, nice. So far, so good. And then we're going to release that. Stop the engine as per previous instructions in section 5. Okay. Let's find those. So we're in the number gun cab. So we're going to press the engine stop button. Uh, the stop buttons in the cab on these locomotives are fitted with a locking mechanism shown in figure 4.2. This is prevent start up 
This is to prevent startup of the unit. Okay, well, we're going to press that. done that. So where do we go for? Click the repair book. Oh, after the engine has been shut down, the turbocharger lube pump will continue to run for 35 minutes. I'm guessing that's what we can still hear. Click repair book and, all re and record all known defects in the book. Um, we can just pretend we're doing that on our knee here. It says uh, TSW Great Western Express bit buggy. Class 66 follows manual quite well so far. I'll sign that there. Right, perfect. Um, switch off all external and internal lighting together with a cab, heater, and hot plate. So let's have a look at our lighting. Off, off, off. So they're all off. Oh, no, 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 no. Off. And then hot plate is off. Oh, it says no. Leave the tail lights on if required for safety reasons. We're on the running line. We'll put our tail lights on. Exit the locomotive, locking all windows and doors. For once, we don't have to pretend we're doing this. We can actually do it. And then open the battery isolating switch at the same time. Confirm the parking brake is applied by observing that the chain is tight. Chain does look pretty tight, if I'm honest. Does it look like that normally? If I go in and turn that off, does that change? Now, I will be impressed if this does. Hold on, hold on, I think that might have actually made a difference. So that's now pretty much vertical, yeah? You're all going, no, Alan, it hasn't, you're tripping. I've built my hopes up so much for this game that I do want it to be real. No, 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 it is, it actually is. Pedro Neves just commented on my video. Nice, and why is there no leaves on trees in winter? Um, I'll answer your question in this video. We don't tend, we do have quite a lot of evergreen trees, but a lot of ours uh, lose their leaves in the winter as well. That's cool. 10 points, DTG. That is something that didn't need to be modelled, and it is. I'm really impressed with that. Um, what would be even better, though, is if I could get into the battery box which I don't think I can. I can get to the fuel gauge, I think. That's not on this side, is it there? Yeah. Battery isolator switch actually is on the other. Oh, there's a 166 there, be careful. It's a bit easier to look at this side. No, there's nothing I can do in there. I can do the fuel cap and plop that on top. I'll do it with the sandboxes gauge. It's pretty full. Okay. We've checked that the chain chains were tight. Well, 
do we have to do next? Immobilising the locomotive, perform the disposable duties above. Okay, so that's the disposal. That is the disposal. Check the battery isolation switch on the left of the battery box. Oh, I can't get back round that way, can I? No! That's going to be one of those things that pops in and says that, that you're going to want it to do sometimes. It's not going to do it for ages, isn't it? Ah, here. No, I really can't do anything with that, can I? What's that flap there? No. Alright, so that is the disposal of a class... 66. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that rather strange look at the wagons and the class 66. Uh, the next video I'm going to do, I'll do the full preparation of the 66 because I just don't think that it does it justice to do it like this. I'll find a spot for the 66 and do it nicely from there with it all shut down. We'll go in and start it up from scratch. Uh, once again, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe this, to this channel. And share the videos. Share the videos on your Facebook groups. Let's get the watch numbers back up. Much, much appreciated. Those likes really help. Um, let me know if there's anything else in the comments you'd like me to look at. I'll see you soon.